Outside. There's a few Outside. teams that are exciting the NRL at the moment and putting themselves in a good position. Now, Adam O'Brien at the Newcastle Knights apparently is under siege. Can one of you guys explain to me how this has come about? I struggle to explain the rationale, what's happening here, and I've got the names written down here. Michael Maguire, Paul McGregor, Des Hasler, Justin Holbrook and John Morris have all been approached by either an official or, in one case, a sponsor over the last six or As seven head weeks. Coach? Um, that I cannot confirm in Holbrook's case. The other guys, I think, were sounded out to see if they'd be interested. But in that the, was before this this rich vein of form. Before the four-week So there's still run. a question mark over him. Well, Braith, they beat Melbourne. Outstanding football the weekend prior to the one just gone. And then they're talking to Holbrook. When did they talk? When did they talk to Holbrook? Thurs I think it was Thursday, bro. Last Thursday. Yeah. So that's after the Melbourne win. Yeah. They still, they're still talking yes. to head coaches. But yeah. privately, they're saying he's under no pressure. Adam O'Brien will be their coach next year. That's what they're telling everyone privately. It worries me, me that they won't come out and publicly say that because Adam's got one year left in that deal. And look, obviously his agent, agents pushing for an extension. Uh, the club. And I can understand the club club not giving him an extension yet. Mm. You know, I think if he finishes in the top eight, uh, they finish this season well, finish in the top yeah. eight, then I yeah, think sit down the off season. Well, they started by all the means. process where they were going pretty ordinary, didn't they? This this started That's six or eight weeks ago. Oh, they're, they're talking to other coaches. Yes. yes. Yeah, but yes. Uh, um, Holbrook has also met with the West Tigers. Holbrook has also met no, with the Canterbury Bulldogs. Happen in the end. Mm. But it was going to happen and got cancelled. Well, but he, it will he, he met with yeah, Gus and, and um, Cameron Serraldo. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if Adam O'Brien is head coach and they're only talking to Holbrook about being an assistant, surely they should have brought Holbrook into the conversation. Surely he's entitled to have some say in the structure of his coaching staff. Mm. But I think all I think all his assistants are re-signed, Buzz, for next year. Blake Green, well, what I think are you Roy suggesting, Costa Brady? Are, are they, do well, they? Well, I'm suggesting they weren't talking to talking to. Him to be an assistant because the assistant's jobs are all full. So I'd say they were... I'm not sure why they were sounding him out. Maybe... And this you know, is the question all... the big clubs got to ask themselves. Can Adam O'Brien win him a grand final? That's the question. If well, I'm sitting Justin on the board... Holbrook if I'm... The Titans sacked Justin yeah. Holbrook because they didn't think he that. could. That's right. And they've actually got... So that's the question you've got to ask, being a board member, and make sure that your club, because that's what you get judged on, whether you win grand finals. That's, that's the question saying, you've got I, to I'm ask not, yourself. I'm not prepared to say that O'Brien can't win a grand final. I think he's done a terrific job. I think well, right now... How many now, years do you get him to win one? But hold on, I think right now they're playing the best they have since, what, 10 years ago when Wayne Bennett took them to a game from the grand final. They are a serious, serious football side. They can beat anyone nearly. They took Penrith to Golden Point, don't forget. Mm. I think it's really disrespectful to Adam because I think so he's getting I. as much out of that footy team as anyone could. But I think you stack that footy team up against that squad, mm. you put it beside Penrith and Brisbane, it's an inferior squad. But there seems to be think? some... T I, I yeah. do agree with you, Rudy, and, and I think he's doing a really good job with them at the moment and considering he's under a lot of pressure. But James Hooper wrote a story this afternoon that Gardner, Phil Gardner... And is it Isaac Moses? There's a bit of tension between them two. Moses is the manager of uh, Adam. Yep. Is this what's causing issues here in Newcastle or not? If Phil Gardner is worried about a relationship with a manager that threatens the future of the coach, he's so out of order. I hope that's not the case. But Why if Jimmy that? Hooper's written about it, you could guarantee it's on the money. But why is that, Buzz? You can't have your managers. You can't have a manager running the club. If he's going, no, no, we watch but, what happened at Manly. But do we know we the managers? Happened? They don't have. A, they've got more players at Manly, Isaac Moses, and we've spoken about that before. Well, I don't think Isaac Moses running well, the Knights. Has he got Knights. four or five there? Has he got about five there? None of them are good. Yeah. Well, it's a bit us, would he? If he was running the club... Who? If he was, run, if he was running the club, they'd have already re-signed Adam O'Brien. So he's clearly not running the club. Right. So that's where their standoff might be right no, now. But that's what they're saying. Well, potentially, they're saying that they, that they not, won't. They're not re-signing him, and, and maybe a, a reason for that is is Moses and the power he's got there. That's what James Hooper has written. written. Apparently, Kurt Mann, Hunt, Johns, Mapapalangi are all on the way out, and they're all Moses' clients. Mm. Is that right? Well, if they're yes. all on the way out, what's the problem? 
But that's 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 and, my and point. Does Adam but that's the point. Is if they're on the way out, does that mean the coaches? Because he's with Moses as well. Well, that, well if that's the case, mm. Brett, that's sad because he's done a great job. Yeah. And if he's becoming collateral damage in some power struggle at that footy club, that footy club's got pr problems beyond the coach. Mm. That footy pr the footy club's got massive problems the way it's being run. And you would you would suggest, given um, they're meeting coaches on the sly and mm. behind Adam's back, I'd suggest what coach would want to go there. What coach would want to go and coach a footy team where you can't can't trust the people who are running the show to be? Uh, well, did the same happen to Nathan Brown? Did the same happen to Nathan Brown? Or not? Well, Brownie struggled. Look, he won what three wooden spoons. Yeah. He gave it his best. No, up I, mean, there, I mean, I don't mean the fact that he was gone, but the way that it happened. Yeah, it was very, very similar. Yeah. yeah. And, Why and, would you want to go and, go and coach there if that's going on? It's embarrassing. Well, they're going this is right. a footy club on the verge of the eight. And all we're talking about what, is what, how the people at the yeah. club are going behind the coaches back to talk to other coaches. I think Phil Gardner would be the first to admit he's not a rugby league guru. He runs licensed premises and the best. But he's in got the Peter state. Parr. Like, man, no, he's that's got guys my that... point. Yeah. Why did he hire Peter Parr, Origin manager, built the Cowboys with Paul Green but to win a Parr premiership? Is in on it. But no, the no other... I don't think Parr is. And the other issue, and, and I'm he's quite confident. So who's, who's, who's in these players? Well, well, this is the other well, issue. Well, one was one was a sponsor, a guy called McCoy. He's a major yeah. builder. He rang Des Haslow, and he's close to Gardner. I don't know. Peter Parr insists that he has not met any of them. But, but this is and the I take him for his word. This is the issue, Buzz. You at this club, you've got these other people who have sort of a, they're, they're figures who exist in the dark, right? They're, they don't have official roles within the mm. club, but they're going out and reaching out to coaches, maybe under Phil Gardner's instructions. But how, how, is, that, how is that running a football club? Like, like people nights. who don't... It's ridiculous. You've got people who are on the, slot, who are on the side, have nothing to do with the footy club, who, who, who are arm's length, but sort of being instructed mm. to go and reach out to coaches on the, on the side well, so that it doesn't come back to the, the people yeah. who are in charge of the joint. We've seen that happen in other clubs and it ends up in disaster. It always ends in tears, It, it really does. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I think they're going to make the eight. They're, they're a point outside it now and it's going to be highly embarrassing for the Knights mm. if they try to short So who drops out? Him. The Sharkies? I think the Sharks could possibly drop out. Yeah. Who else is in there, Gordy? Um, Parramatta. Yeah. Um, no, they're out at the moment, aren't they? Parramatta are out. Look, yeah. I, I think there's Cowboys only... Cowboys remember the strife yeah, now but, too. I, I think Cronulla will drop out and they'll make so, it. So for Newcastle fans, does this, does this go away? Does this go away? Because this could really impact the back end of their season or their finals run. Does it go away? Does it fester on? And we're, we're still asking questions at the back end of this year into the start of, uh, of, uh, of next year. It happened with Hook, right, at the Dragons. Mm. You really don't want this carrying over. If you're going to no. make a decision, you've got to make the decision, right? You, you just can't have this question mark for a long yeah, period well, of time. Yeah, well, Phil Gardner's saying he won't give any guarantee because he shouldn't have to because the coach has got a contract for next year. Mm. But in the early rounds of the comp, it's going to be the complete focus of that town, yeah. what's going to happen. So I think... Maybe, I, I, maybe I'm the off they don't... Ex maybe yeah. they call in the off-season. I think so he goes back the back end of the year. And if he does stand yeah. up, O'Brien, and the Knights do, then he probably he definitely deserves next year and maybe more. But <laughs> if they don't, then you've you got to make a call. If he makes the eight break, he should get at least another year. An extension yeah. on top of the year he's got. So he's got one year left after this year. If he makes the eight, yeah. give him at least one more year. You and, can't... Braith, the other important thing is you've got to see who's available. We're talking about O'Brien's future. Would there be a better option? The five coaches I mentioned before, I don't think they are better options. If... You don't think Madge is a better option? He's one No, of I don't. I Wayne definitely Bennett don't. Buzz? Well, I didn't mention Wayne Bennett is a free <laughs> agent. Whether he'd go back to Newcastle, I doubt it. I doubt, but that's what I was going to mention. If Craig Bellamy, for some silly reason, or Trent Robinson became available, you could understand the spec... Mm. There was, there well, was, that's, that's not going to happen. It, mm. that's, I know it's not. Yeah. Wayne Bennett so. might, be, might be available, though. Well, that, that, be see, available. That, this is the point here, and I'll bring it back. This is the confusion. Why are they trying to or, or talking to coaches that you've just mentioned that aren't really, supposedly, any better than Adam O'Brien, why are they even doing that? Why'd they interview Paul McGregor? That's my point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Braith, I can't answer yeah, it. Right. I, I, I think uh, Phil Gardner is stepping out of his area of expertise mm. as a great manager of bistros, poker machines and licensed <laughs> clubs. <laughs> you, 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 no, you, you it, love it is. <laughs> no, but, well, it is. I'm not being rude either. No, Parry's his... got to step in. Right. Yeah. But, but, but as a board or as a chairman, you've got to ask yourself, that's what I went back to, you've got to ask yourself, 
Can Adam O'Brien win us a comp? He's been there long enough. Do you think he's going to win the Knights a comp? In Parry's defence, Gordy, Parry's not running the footy. Parry's the head of football. Yep. Right, so if someone above him says or goes yeah. around, yep. but they're born there for a reason, right? I understand. Yes, he's one of the best in the game. No one can allow him to do his job because he's one of the best in the game, and he's respected in the game, and they want him to make some decisions. That's mm. what they've apparently bought him there. Yeah. But if he's not going to be making the decisions, what's the point in bringing him there? Well, that's a very good question. Exactly. Let's move on. <laughs>